am Zyner, and this is episode 26 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And, uh, I don't know how long it's been between the time you watched the last video and this one, but for me, it's been, I don't know, somewhere in probably about 10 or 12 hours. So, went to sleep, just woke up recently, so I'm probably going to be very bad at the game because of the fact I just woke up. Although, hopefully, uh, make me a little bit more easily startled and make for some more interesting video, but I doubt it. Hopefully it does keep me talking, because I actually, uh, watched some of my last video, and man, I was boring. Bastard. Trying to come after me, stupid spider. Made his match. You know, the only thing I know for a fact right now is that I'm in an abandoned mine shaft that I'm a, about 100% sure is the same one I was in before. Which means that I actually don't really know what's going on. I do know that 1.2 is going to make it so there isn't these mysterious gaps in the ground in the mine shafts. I see you. Well, one last experience orb can't get up to me, so I guess I won't have it. But, uh, yeah, there's going to be wooden strut platform things to uh, prevent those giant gaping holes, especially when they go through ravines. I feel like I'm missing something. There should be a lot more to this abandoned mine shaft that I haven't yet explored. But for some reason... Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I don't know where you're at. Oop, broke a pick. Figure why not. Take some wood. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. There we go. How's oh, that for a really sneaky way to get rid of that? Okay, so... I see more track. It's a good indicator I haven't been that way. What do you think you're doing? Why are you gonna be that way? Huh? Just come in here, blowing up my stuff. What? Well, I'll be damned. Ugh, I really hate using my sword for this. Mm. Yeah, I hear you. Shut up, stupid spiders. You're being very noisy right now. So, the goal of this episode is going to be to find some fucking melon seeds. Something that has been avoiding me for a while now. I say avoiding because, come on, it has to be purposely avoiding me. How else could I have not found some yet? But, uh, yep, yeah, I'm sick of wasting my sword on these cobwebs. So, I'm making a set of shears. If I could place the blocks right. I don't need mushrooms, I got mushrooms. 
Diamond Sword destroys them faster, but uh, this takes a lot less durability damage. Um. Oh. That explains the spiders. Hmm. Oh, oh shit. This is in no way, shape, or form going to be safe. Stupid mushrooms. Um, I want the iron. There we go. You know, I could have just thrown away the dirt, but I didn't. Hmm. Stupid cobweb. Stupid other cobweb. Oh, and then I can't even reach it from here. Spider spawner destroyed. Yeah, I see you down there. Now, how am I going to get this guy? Oh. He's going to help me get him. Stupid cobwebs. Uh, well, this appears to dead end. And I'm sure that if I dug out every single piece of that, I'd probably eventually find something. That goes without saying. That's just how Minecraft operates. Uh, I see you down there. I was closer than I would have liked. Well, it appears I found some of this. Okay, ravine. Ow! Ah. Come on, skeleton. Ha ha. I decided I was in need of wood. Um, I, I realize I kind of stopped talking, but I did warn you that I more or less just woke up. So, sorry about that. I'll try to be more talkative in the most direct future. Okay, I've had enough. These cobwebs. It appears I've stirred up some rail tracks down here. I hear plenty of spiders. There are pl plenty of angry. I see you, skeleton. And now you can't see me. Uh, ow. Oh, you prick. Okay, those are normal sized spiders. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, 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 shit.
Whoa. Hi there. Sure was an awful lot of you hanging up there. Okay. I heard something falling. These spiders. Whoa. Whoa. Baby spiders. That's that's bad. Okay. Okay. Poison appears to have left me alone for now. Oh. What? You're going to tell me that that piece of rail was holding back the water. Really? Well, that's not good. We don't need fence. Creeper. You know what? I don't even care if you blow up the uh, supports for the mine shaft. I just don't even care. Oh, that's not good. I'm being really cautious about this now, if you haven't noticed. Ooh, running out of coal. This episode may end up being slightly shorter than I originally intended, just because I'm going to run out of coal for torches. I don't want to go down. I want to go up. This is actually getting rather on my nerves. How... Well, one thing I've noticed is it's not actually branching like most mine shafts do. It's more of a straight line. Which just seems really strange to me. This whole mine shaft is just rather odd. This is this one block of gold. Oh, apparently it's more than one. Good for me. Okay. Didn't leave myself a way out. The mystery of the levitating gravel. It's obviously a horror film. Mystery of the Levitating Gravel horror film. There wasn't really much of a mystery. So it's definitely not a mystery. It's a horror. Because of all the mobs that keep trying to kill me. That was a slow lighting update. At least I thought so. What? And now we go up. Now, I'm almost tempted to use some wood and use string to just make a bed down here. And then I might try and tunnel my way out to the surface or something from like right here. You know, I like that idea. I'm going to make the mineshaft outpost. Albeit no lack of wood. Because if I need wood, I'll just rip apart the uh, these like this. Whoops. I haven't even been this direction. So ripping everything up in that direction is probably a bad idea. I wonder how far back in this wall I can go before I run out of space. Better question is, if I make a bed, I wonder if 
two things. If it's night time, and if I can actually use it. It might give me a, there's too many monsters nearby, warning. Yep, I dug that out. I know I'm going to fill part of it back in. And I'm going to waste some wood. Making a door. Don't need the zombie flesh at the moment. Okay. Use some more wood. Actually, not yet. Need to make the wool first. And I apparently don't know what I'm doing. Because I was making too much of said wool. And bed. Torch. It's not night time. Somehow I saw this coming. Um, against my better judgment. I'm going to make a chest. And that chest is going to be used to store everything precious to me. Just so I don't lose these things again. Um, alright, the diamonds. There's iron ingots in there. Lapis cocoa beans. I don't need the extra bucket. And that should be pretty much everything I need to put in there. Mm. I didn't want to do it. But I'm apparently going to do it anyhow. Where am I? I'm pretty sure I'm nowhere near where I crafted the shears. So, anyhow. Going to make a furnace. I'm going to make a watch. I have the redstone. I have the gold. While I do want to use the gold for other purposes, uh, I do want to watch. I'm going to explore down through here a bit more. What's going on there? The water looks funky. Oh, Craper. Bring it, Craper. You stuck? Huh? You a little stuck? Fucker. Creepers be creeping. Hmm. I wonder... Yes, I realize I shouldn't be digging straight up. But I am. Well, I don't have to worry about lava falling on my head. Or pretty much anything, as long as I stay within the boundaries of the ladder. I am going to mine slower because I'm on the ladder, but I find this acceptable. I just want to see how far 15 ladders is going to get me. I miss being able to stand on the top of ladders, that's all I'm going to say. And it'll be back, so that's nice. Plus climbable vines. You know, I keep on talking about the next update, and I have no idea when it's going to come out. I mean, it's still receiving tons of changes as it is, so... I mean, anything I say now might even be irrelevant later, yet I'm still talking about it, because there's big changes that I'm a really big fan of. And they'll probably stay. That's probably almost guaranteed, but... But I don't have enough ladders to reach the surface. I'm kind of impressed that I haven't hit the uh, the rest of the mine shaft on the way up like that. It's kind of crazy.
Creepers be creeping. Hey, creeper. Ow. Gotta eat something before I die. Oh, I didn't get poisoned by that zombie flesh. Perfect. I hear you, spiders. I need to dig up coal. Of course, so I'd have to find some coal first. Uh, why do I have fences again? I already threw those out once. Not those exact fences. Oh. Oh. water touching it, you should stop spawning. That's the rule of spawners. Now the water will also help deter the spiders. Spawner down. I hear you hiding up there. I knew that was going to happen. This sure is a long passageway of cobwebs. I don't know if you can burn cobwebs. That'd be really handy. It'd take a while to burn all these cobwebs out, though. These cobwebs that are blocking my ability to place torches. I didn't place that torch. Coal! I have found coal! I'm pretty much out of wood. Down to half torches. Pretty much out of wood. I was pretty much out of coal. Oops. So, I need to go through here, strip out the wood from the support beams, collect that, Find more coal, collect that. Things are just not looking up at the moment. I, I could, in theory, collect a bunch of the support struts and actually make ladders, get out, and then... Uh, You know, go get more coal and whatnot, come, be prepared and come back down. But, meh. I could. But I'm currently not. I need to set up some kind of way for me to know how to get back. Seems like a really good idea. You may not quite know what I'm doing. Right. I had the same concept once with nether rack. It was you take nether rack and you place it and you light it and it because it's so abnormal for the real world, it sticks out like a sore thumb. And you just place it in a way where you can see it from the previous one. And, I mean, nether rack is so easily picked up that, you know, it's not hard. Like, it's easily removed afterwards. You know, I thought these things were supposed to have chests. Yes, I know, they are supposed to have chests. But have you seen one? I sure as fuck haven't. But I guess that's just my luck with this mine shaft. I'm doomed to never have melon seeds. 
Oh, I don't like that. Ah! Problem solved? Hmm. I'm definitely not winning at this mine shaft. I'm getting severely beaten by a mine shaft. I'm so bad I'm fighting a mine shaft and losing. What the hell? Oh. I saw something drop. I was like, what the fuck was that? I should be keeping an eye behind me. No, yeah, no, apparently just in front of me. This has not been quite as eventful. I think I'm learning how to actually, you know, not be a complete retard. Which is kind of surprising, considering I decided to play sh so shortly after waking up just because it should make things more interesting. But it really hasn't. Which is actually kind of uneventful for both me and probably you. So, whatever, I guess. You know, I just realized what I could have done was, as I explore sections of mineshaft, I leave pieces up, and then I re destroy them on the way back so I know what I have and haven't explored, but that would still rely on me knowing the way back, essentially. So, I'm going to stick with that wool idea I started doing. Until I run out of cobweb, of course, but I'm in a mineshaft. I'd actually have to be kind of retarded to run out of string in a mine shaft. But this is me we're talking about. I'm sure I'll find a way. What kind of crazy path do I got going on here? I've managed to make it loop around to itself. Have go a little look see up here. Aha! Melon seeds and bread and redstone and coal and iron. That was a pretty good chest. I'm taking that chest. Pick's broken. Down to my last pick. More coal. About to run out of torches, but I'm nowhere near finished with this mine shaft, so I'm probably gonna try and make my way out. I don't know if it's a long episode. Once again, I'm doing a very bad job of keeping track of time. The last episode was pretty long, but I'm going to collect a bunch of wood. I'm gonna get back to the outpost, so I'm going to label it. Okay, I definitely haven't been that way because the uh, supports are still up. I haven't been that way because the supports are still up. Oh, it's because I'm on the next floor up. Durr. Okay, this side appears to be as safe as a mine shaft can get, I guess. That, however, is not at all safe. Okay. Piece of wool, piece of wool, piece of wool. You know, I've got melon seeds. Every single bone of my body is screaming, Turn around. Go save them. You've marked your path backwards. It is not hard to find your way out. And the rest of me is going, What's the problem here? Just kind of like troll face. Problem? Then again, I do need the wood. Yes, I just mined dirt. Mined. Wow. 
dug dirt up with an axe. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It was just one time. It was just one durability on it. I don't hear anything, and that scares me. What? Oh. It's like, what the hell? Where does this link to? Right around the corner from me. Must. Stop. Water. That torch was off. a skeleton. Hmm. Okay, spiders. Don't know what kind they are. Going the other way. Creeper. Okay, I'm out of torches. Saw a creeper. And I don't really know which way is the right way out. Whoops. Okay, piece of wool. I'll place one of those right here. Oh, not with a torch on it, though. I'll leave that wool there. That way I can come back fairly easily. Um, I do need more wood. I'm just gonna stay within the vicinity of the uh, wool. Should be fairly lit up here. I don't know how many more ladders I'm gonna need, but for every eight ladders, it's going to take me. Wait, I should. I should just say screw the math figure out how much I get in the end. But for some reason, I want to do the math. Because it's math. Yeah, I'm strange like that. I like doing math. I must have completed a stack of wood. That's always a good sign. Oops. That was pure genius. Hands down. I've never seen any maneuver so genius in my life. <laughs> oh, there's a whole set of darkness up there still, too. Oh, wow, I've got two stacks of wood. That is pretty crazy. And ladders. And torches. Might as well do it again. Clear these out. Torches. Put everything worthwhile in the chest so I don't actually accidentally lose it while digging up. I'll even put the chest in the chest because that's important. Obviously. Redstone. I got quite a bit of redstone now. You know, I might as well leave the wool in there. I'm going to start bringing netherrack with me and flint and steel. Oops. I tried to stop so I could put my uh, ladders on my bar. If 36 doesn't get me out, I, I I swear I have to be in the side of a mountain. There's just no other explanation for it. I mean, I've already placed 25. 
You know what? I can stay there. Well, no. That one can leave. This is going to be a very boring way to exit this, but, uh... I don't want to, and I also don't want to leave the episode till I make it back to my house. So, if it gets a little bit longer. Whoops. Don't worry, there was ladders. And ladders aren't destroyed by water, thankfully. I'm going to put a torch right here. I don't even... What? Oh. Yeah, I placed it in totally the wrong spot compared to the other ones. This is going to be a very slow going process. Oh, here I was going, yes, I hit dirt, I'm about to be on the surface. Shut down. There we go again. Mojang was trolling me with their dirt. Who knows? More dirt. More dirt. More dirt. I hear sheep. I'm not being trolled this time. I see the light. Oh. I came out in a mountain anyhow. Um, really? I followed a cave under my house and ended up over here? I'm not entirely sure where over here is, to be honest. I've got redstone, I can make another compass. I was originally going to make a uh, watch too, but I never finished making that. It's an outpost. It needs something on the surface to clearly define its existence. In case you were wondering what the hell I was doing. Should have plenty of cobble from all the digging through walls and stuff. That's not where I wanted that block. It's not going to be three high like most of my structures. But it is going to be safe, kind of. Cover it in torches. Where's... Oh, I can't see it. Oh, the game is trolling me. There's gonna be at least one familiar site around here. You think being practically on top of a mountain I could find something familiar? How far did I go? Um... Uh... Well, shit. Hmm, I have a feeling my house might be in that way. And I feel like I should just make a compass. I need to make a door, too. That's a given. I don't have anything important on me. I mean, I could move, but it's more of I would need to know how to get back here. And yes, I could violently wander through the entire mine shaft, but what's that really accomplish? Door. And gold. Stick the iron in there. I've got a lot more coal. Coal just kind of appears very quickly. Should I make a clock? 
Nah. I'm just gonna put it in there. What a waste of coal, though. Some of the things I waste coal on probably makes people cry. Chucking up two iron in a furnace. I really hope this is, like, a specific direction. I won't be able to tell, because it's raining. What? Are you kidding me? If this is telling me what I think it's telling me... I... 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 I Let's try that again. If this is telling me what I think it's telling me, it means I put the door on the wrong side of the building. The building which currently has no light. Ooh. Put a door on both sides. I could. It's not what I want to do. I... Hmm. You know... Oh! Am I going to be able to get back up here? That's the real question. Ow. Leg snapping noises. What? Fine. Apparently I had to set up in some crazy parkour way to get back up. Oh, come on. What? Right about now, I just want to burn these trees down. That'd make a good standing... You know, good way to show where it is, huh? Just trees burning. It's over there. Man, I hope I didn't go very far. Unless I don't use the uh, coordinate system, it, it's really hard to tell. I do know that it is at least, thankfully, a straight line to spawn. Where the hell? Wow. Do you guys know what that is? I know what that is. That is that fucking ravine. Uh, since I know how to get here, use the compass find my way home by using the compass and this ravine is a landmark to find my way back to that stuff very easily. But in the meantime, we're going to go home without any of the extra stuff that I had. And uh, I'm going to call this episode good because I still want to explore that mine shaft. And I should you know, continue the elevator, which I think I have all the redstone stuff I need over here at the house. For some reason, I thought that ravine was a, a lot farther of a run. Well, I was wrong, apparently. But, uh, go back over here, go inside, call this episode done. Next episode, well... I could probably go back and get that stuff during the day at some point, because that wasn't that long of a run. So you don't need to see that. I can bring it all back. And, uh... I can make a minecart rail over to there. It seems like a good enough idea. But, uh... I'm going to call this episode for now. I'll see you again in episode 26.